Hi there, first year. I'm going to introduce you today to Autodesk Sketchbook. This is an app you can download. It's available for your laptop, your um, tablet devices, your iPad or your mobile phone. So getting started, you can download it for any device as I previously said and you're going to want to set up your first page. So this takes you to this screen here. You're going to open a new sketch, select your dimensions. I normally go for just about an A4 page and then you can also share it and save it later on by going into this same menu which is up here and you can also select other preferences and things to do with your brushes. So have a look around this menu here. This is all your basic controls for getting started. Then when you get into it, you're going to want to look at what types of brushes there are and what kind of colours you can use. So this little toggle here can be pressed from anywhere on the screen and it can also be moved around. This gives you some brush options, so when pressed it opens up all your different brushes and this black dot here, when pressed, it gives you all your colour options. So your first task, I want you to try using some of the different tools to see what effect they have. If you're unsure what you've selected, it will tell you at the top and clicking on the settings will also let you change the thickness of the tool or the opacity, so that just means how see-through it is. Just a quick thing to note, depending on your device, the layout of your screen might be different. However, the tools always look the same, so these tools may be in different places, but they will look the same no matter the device that you're on. Your top toolbar, so that's the thing at the very, very top. So there are different options and your task here is to insert an image using some of these tools and you're going to change the size and position of that image and you can also draw over the top of it and try different things. So this here, this is your move tool and you can tap this with one finger to drag or move or two fingers to rotate or change the size. Your fill tool, that's a bit like a paint bucket that allows you to colour the background, create gradients and other effects and it gives you loads of different options here. This is your ruler, this allows you to draw straight lines, it also allows you to draw at an angle or draw curves. This one here is very useful if you're not very good at doing unbroken lines. It's called predictive stroke and it will automatically draw your lines smoother and more oval or curved for you depending on what you're wanting. So this is the one you're needing for your task. This is how you insert an image. So this will allow you to insert an image that you have saved to your device's folders just by clicking on this and you can import an image from anywhere at all. And if you don't have an image that you want to use, go and save one off the internet and then come back here and import it later. Perspective guides are also for drawing buildings and items which need realistic perspectives, so things that get further away as they go into the distance. Other tools and their uses. So, I've numbered them for you. You can have a chance to go over this later yourself. Number one, that switches you back to the last brush you used, so it's really useful if you've got two brushes that you're going between. Two, switches the colour to transparent, so that is useful for rubbing out. Three is the colour picker that allows you to go and select a colour from anywhere if you want to continue using it. Number four allows you to remove the colour and brush buttons up there, so if they're getting in your way, you can remove them by pressing number four. Number five, mirror flips your canvas, so it allows you to see it from a different perspective. Number six, that's your undo button. Number seven, this is a button that I would use very carefully. This starts the entire thing again, so it will erase everything that you've done. So number seven is like your nuclear option. So avoid this button unless you're really wanting to start again. It resizes the canvas to fit the screen, so you can, you know, zoom in, zoom out, and then if you want to just click it back to fit the whole screen again, press number eight. And number nine, 
This menu here is layers, so a really good thing about digital drawing is you can draw different layers. So if you've done something in one layer that you really like and you don't want to jeopardise changing it or touching it, you can create a new layer by pressing the plus button and then you can build on top of it as you go. So the task for this page is to go through the list and see what happens when you're using each of these tools. So starting your drawing, one, import the image and move it to the top left to use as a reference. Two, draw your outline using the brush of your choice. I used a marker for this, so a bit like a felt pen. Three, when adding colour or tone, use different layers to the one you drew the outline on and this makes it easier to erase the mistakes. Experiment with different brush types for texture and detail. And four, when you're finished, you have to delete your reference image so that you are left with your own original artwork. So there's my wee reference image down there and I deleted that later on. So, over to you. What are you going to draw? So, the task for this lesson is to use Autodesk Sketchbook to create a piece of work on your phone or your tablet. And for this first drawing, you can pick anything you like at all. If you don't have a stylus at home and you're just using your finger, that's fine. You can experiment just using your finger. However, you can pick up styluses from the school. They're available at the school office if you desperately want to use a stylus. Happy drawing!